The record for no-hitters in a single MLB season is 7. Two months into the 2021 season, there have already been 6, and these 6 pitchers have one thing in common. They are probably cheating, and some of the best, most well-known pitchers in baseball may soon be punished for it. In 2021, minor league pitchers have been caught and punished at historic rates. A major league pitcher was caught, causing league-wide outrage. One of the league's best hitters has claimed to have an entire video catalog of pitchers cheating, saying that he will soon release it publicly, and MLB themselves has hired people to monitor dugouts, analyze data to find players whose performances seem suspicious and have confiscated baseballs from pitchers to be inspected by a third-party lab in order to find enough evidence to potentially suspend them. This is putting some of baseball's best pitchers at risk, including 2020 Cy Young winner Trevor Bauer, who through scientific research may have created the best form of this substance available, which has led some to believe that his record-setting contract he signed this offseason was made by the Dodgers in part to gain access to this specific substance, and is the reason why many of Bauer's teammates have seen a suspicious rise in spin rate. Earlier this year, Bauer called writer Ken Rosenthal a gossip blogger after he reported that Bauer had baseballs confiscated and investigated during a game in April, which led to speculation that Bauer will be punished and used as a scapegoat by the end of the season. But Trevor Bauer is not the only pitcher being monitored by MLB, because there is a substance going around that has turned average pitchers into all-stars, and this is a brand new substance that is more complex than the ones used in the past, is way more dangerous, and according to some, more effective than steroids. This offseason, an Angels employee was fired and accused of selling this substance to pitchers across the league. MLB teams have been accused of hiring scientist to develop the most effective form of this illegal substance, and after a few years of speculation, we finally have a good idea of what this specific substance is, and data shows it is being used more than ever. But what methods will MLB use to police this substance? How many pitchers have had an unnatural rise in performance because of this substance? Which of these pitchers are most likely going to be punished? And why some are blaming MLB and their purchase of Rawlings in 2018 for creating the foreign substance issue in the first place. This video is brought to you by BetQL. If you want to get an advantage over the sports books during the NBA and NHL playoffs or the inside edge all MLB season, then you need to download BetQL, the only app you'll need to make smart bets. Their best bets algorithm scans over 350,000 unique bets per year to give you the best recommendation for every game across all major sports and gives you reasoning why you should place the bet. BetQL also has tons of other tools like sharp data so you can see who the pros are backing and the line movement so you can jump on betting opportunities in real time. Plus you can save all your picks in one place to track your success and winning streaks as well as view your rank on their leaderboards. BetQL is available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. You can also head to the link found in the description below, enter the discount code doesn't exist at payment checkout and get a 25% off discount on any of their subscription offerings. Also check out their sportsbook offer page if you live in one of the eligible states to claim free offers upon signing up at any one of the many sportsbooks listed. Don't miss out on the chance to beat your sportsbook this summer. Click the link below and sign up for BetQL today. From 1991 to 2003, anabolic steroids were prohibited by Major League Baseball. However, until 2004, the league never drug tested players, giving them two options options, take illegal substances that would improve their performance greatly with absolutely no risk of being caught, or play by the rules and risk getting your job taken from another player taking these illegal substances. This resulted in what we know today as the steroid era, and MLB finds itself in a very similar situation today. And pitcher Trevor Bauer is a great example of the predicament major league pitchers are currently in, and there is real evidence that suggests that he will be the first pitcher to be severely
severely punished for using this substance. I already have another full video on how Trevor Bauer basically became the face of foreign substance and the link will be in the description. But long story short, in 2018, Bauer basically went on a full-fledged media tour bringing awareness to foreign substances like pine tar, rosin, sunscreen, and basically anything that adds extra sticky grip to a pitcher's hand, saying that the effects pitchers are getting from this are better than steroids. Bauer publicly called out the Astros for using it, and more specifically Garrett Cole, who he's had a beef with since college. He stated that at least 70% of pitchers were using it, and that he had done scientific experiments to find the best formula, and that he could increase his spin rate on his fastball by 400 RPMs if he used it in games, but wouldn't because he had morals. Spin rate is a metric that measures how much a ball spins. It is measured by RPMs. The more the ball spins, the higher RPMs you will have, and theoretically, the harder the ball is to hit. When it comes to a four-seam fastball, people pretty much agree that there is no real way to significantly increase spin rate without adding velocity unless you are using an illegal foreign substance. And since every pitch thrown in Major League Baseball is measured and publicly published on a website called Baseball savant, it has become extremely easy to see which players are getting an unnatural bump in performance due to foreign substances. And in 2020, Trevor Bauer had the biggest bump in spin rate ever recorded, and went from having arguably the worst year of his career in 2019 to winning the Cy Young in 2020, and earning himself a contract that will pay him $38 million this year. That's more money than any players made in a single season in baseball history. And there is evidence that suggests that the Dodgers gave him this contract not only for being one of the best pitchers in baseball in 2020, but also in order to gain access to his foreign substance formula which may be the best in the league. However, Bauer is not the only player using a form of sticky substance. He's just been the most vocal about it. In fact, league-wide spin rates have gone up dramatically every single year since 2018, and in 2021, it is at an all-time high. In a recent article written by Ken Rosenthal and Brittany Garoli in The Athletic, a team that stayed anonymous said that they were picking quote-unquote glue stains off the ball hours after the game ended. An American League pitcher says that he can tell who's abusing it because he can basically hear the ball ripping out of pitchers' hands. Adam Duvall says that while playing outfield, he regularly picks up baseballs covered in sticky stuff. The amount of residue that is being left on baseballs today makes it clear that this new form of foreign substance is way different than what was being used in the past and for a completely different reason. Former minor league pitcher and current baseball content creator, the king of Juco, Eric Sim, recently made a video comparing more traditional forms of foreign substance to the ones pitchers have recently discovered. He found that substances like pine tar and the combination of sunscreen and rosin were effective in increasing spin rate. But the most effective way of increasing spin rate was a substance called Spider Tech. Spider Tech is a product that can be bought by anyone online, and the company describes their product as a super sticky paste designed for improving grips on Atlas stones. People are using this stuff to help pick up 400 pound stones, and this picture right here really shows how sticky it is. Eric Sim found that he could add over 300 RPMs on his fastball instantly just by applying this to his hand. But these pitches were thrown at a speed around 80 miles per hour, and according to Trevor Bauer himself, the effects are slightly less pronounced at higher velocities, meaning that if Eric Sim was throwing these fastballs at major league speed, his RPMs would increase, but probably not as dramatic as the 300 RPM increase he got while throwing at 80 miles per hour. However, since 2016, Trevor Bauer has been able to to add over 600 RPMs to his four-seam fastball, while his velocity has stayed at around 94 miles per hour. This chart demonstrates how often major league hitters will swing and miss at a ball depending on its spin rate and velocity. If you take Bauer's average fastball velocity and spin rate from 2017, MLB batters are expected to swing and miss 7.9% of the time. If you take his average velocity and spin rate from 2021, the chart doesn't even go that high. It is hard to compare Trevor Bauer to other pitchers because to my knowledge, there is nobody else that has even come close to adding 600 RPMs to their fastball over any stretch of their career. 
This leads me to believe that although SpiderTech is probably the most effective retail product in increasing spin rate, Trevor Bauer and other major league pitchers have access to substances that are way more advanced and effective. Eno Saris from The Athletic says that he's confirmed that at least a half a dozen teams in Major League Baseball have their own unique special substance they exclusively give to their players. A clubhouse manager for the Angels was fired, accused of making his own foreign substance and selling it to players across the league. He then sued MLB, saying that they had direct knowledge of teams commissioning studies and hiring chemists to create the most effective foreign substance possible. Meaning that according to him, teams are literally secretly paying teams of scientists to work for them in order to create a substance that is more effective than the teams they are playing, who also have teams of scientists doing the same thing. The clubhouse manager even said that teams use their substance as a way to convince free agents to sign with their team, basically promising that they can instantly add spin rate to their pitchers because their substance is better than everybody else's. If this is true, this means that MLB teams are essentially in a foreign substance arms race, constantly looking for the next scientific advancement to give them an edge. And so far, it seems like Trevor Bauer is winning by a long shot. He's admitted to testing liquid pine tar. Non-Newtonian fluids sat down with chemical engineers to find the best formula, and in 2018, before his spin rate spiked, he said his favorite formula was firm grip, melted down with pine tar, and Coca-Cola. But it's very likely that this formula has evolved since this tweet in 2018, because not only did he go from having an average spin rate in 2019 to having the best in the league in 2020, so far in 2021, it's gone even higher. And since no other pitcher has come close to achieving the same rise in spin rate, there is reason to believe that Bauer's own formula is the best in the league. In 2020, when Bauer's spin rate spiked off the charts, many of his teammates in in Cincinnati saw similar results. The Reds, as a team, had the highest average spin rate in 2020, and if you compare the spin rates of Reds pitchers in 2018, the year before Bauer arrived, to 2020, the year Bauer's spin rate spiked, Reds pitcher spin rates increased by 142 RPMs on average. This offseason, Trevor Bauer signed a contract making his salary in 2021 higher than any other player in history, and so far, he's been worth every penny, not only because he has a 2.07 ERA, but also because his teammates have seen a significant spike in spin rate. If you look at Dodgers active starters not named Trevor Bauer and the five most used relievers, only one of them hasn't had a spin rate increase, and the rest of them have gone up by on average 132 RPMs. Now this is entirely speculation, but it is possible that when the Dodgers agreed to make Bauer the highest paid pitcher in history, they weren't just paying for his pitching ability, they were also paying for access to this specific substance. But even if this is proven to be completely true and there is some sort of secret clause in Trevor Bauer's contract that requires him to give his teammates his formula, it is still unfair to completely single him out. Because almost every other pitcher in baseball is using a foreign substance, and yes, Bauer has had the most dramatic results, but his increase of 600 RPMs is somewhat deceiving, because he went from using nothing to using what is probably the best substance you can get. His teammates, who may be using the exact same substance as him today, were likely already using other things like pine tar, sunscreen, and rosin, so their results are less dramatic. But at the end of the day, they're both using the same substance. This is why it's unfair to completely single out Trevor Bauer. However, Unlike three years ago, when Bauer was doing everything he could to get MLB to address this problem, baseball seems like they are about to start cracking down on this. So far in 2021, a player has been suspended for using a foreign substance. A pitcher has had a hat confiscated by an umpire. Josh Donaldson has stated that he will be publicly releasing a video catalog of pitchers cheating, and a report from April makes it seem like Bauer may already be under investigation. But there are many other major league superstars who should 
also be concerned, because now, more than ever, MLB has a real incentive to stop foreign substance. Two months into the season, hitters are on pace to have the lowest batting average in history. They are on pace to strike out more than ever, and there have already been six no-hitters. Only one of these six pitchers hasn't had an increase of spin rate on their fastball since 2018. The other five have increased their spin rate by an average of 120 RPMs. And since 2015, the amount of fastballs at 2,400 RPMs or higher has nearly doubled. In 2017, Garrett Cold had an ERA over four. The next year, his spin rate increased by 200 RPMs. He led the league in strikeouts per nine and finished fifth in Cy Young voting. In 2017, Brandon Woodruff had a 4.81 ERA. His average spin rate is now 300 RPMs higher. He leads the league in ERA, whip, and hits per nine. And after two shortened seasons, people wondered if Shohei Otani would ever be able to be an effective major league pitcher. In 2021, his spin rate has increased close to 200 RPMs, and he's become one of the most dominating pitchers in baseball. According to Eno Saris of The Athletic, while foreign substance can make any pitcher's fastball about 10% better, it can immediately make their curveball or slider up to 30% better. From 2017 to 2019, the average curveball in Major League Baseball went from having a 4.9 inch vertical drop to having a 6.8 vertical drop. From 2017 to 2019, the average slider added 0.8 inches to its horizontal movement and a full inch to its vertical movement. Even though the average fastball Fastball velocity is up 2 miles per hour since 2018, pitchers are using them less than ever because sliders and curves have basically become unhittable. According to Sports Illustrated, the average slider produced a batting average of 193 in 2020 because any pitcher can instantly add an inch of horizontal and vertical break just by adding a foreign substance. But some blame MLB themselves for creating this problem in the first place. In 2018, MLB bought Rawlings because they wanted to control the production of baseballs in order to stop them from changing year to year. But in 2019, the ball made a massive change. The height of the laces lowered significantly enough to make the ball more aerodynamic, causing a record-setting amount of home runs. Going into 2021, MLB said that they were going to make changes to the baseball to slightly lessen the frequency of home runs. So they made the laces thicker, and home runs have gone down, but it also gave pitchers an even better grip. And since pitchers are also using substances scientifically designed for more grip, there is even less contact, more strikeouts, and less home runs. Despite MLB ratings being up 43% from 2019 and having the most watched 14-day period in the 20-season long history of MLB TV, everybody, including the league themselves, pretty much agrees they would rather not watch games where everybody strikes out and no runs are scored. But perhaps the biggest incentive to stop these substances is the fact that they are making baseball increasingly more dangerous. It's long been said that hitters don't mind pitchers using foreign substances because it gives pitchers a better grip, making them less likely to hit the batter in the face. But the past four years have been the four most dangerous years for hitters in MLB history. History. So far, around 0.9 batters are being hit per game in 2021. Foreign substances are making the ball move more, likely leading to pitchers having less control. Pitchers are also throwing harder, giving batters less time to get out of the way. And high spin rate fastballs are more likely to be thrown up in the zone. So hitters are not only likely to get hit, they are more likely to get hit in the face. Jonathan India is a rookie. He's played 40 games. He's already been hit in the head twice. And by far the most most concerning staff for MLB is that so far in 2021, Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, Shohei Otani, Corey Seager, Mookie Betts, and Ronald Acuna have all had to leave games because they've gotten hit by a pitch. MLB has a problem. They want less strikeouts, more balls in play, less walks, and less players being injured. Stopping foreign substances will help achieve all of these goals, and that is what MLB is starting to do, even if it means punishing their best players. And recent events suggest this might happen 
very soon. Before 2021, Major League Baseball stated that they will inspect balls taken out of play, analyze spin rate data, and increase monitoring of dugouts and clubhouses, adding that players are subject to discipline regardless of whether evidence of the violation has been discovered during or following a game. They are collecting pitchers' baseballs in a way that seems like they are building a case to potentially discipline them in the future. MLB is slowly doing more policing, and if pitchers still choose to disobey them, they will have plenty of evidence to punish them, and this is starting to happen now. On May 13th, a minor league player was ejected and suspended 10 games for this, and this weekend alone, three minor league pitchers were ejected for using foreign substances. Enforcing this rule like this is not normal, so it is likely minor league umpires were recently told to start cracking down, and when MLB wants to enforce a new rule or change a rule, they usually begin testing it in the minor leagues, meaning that this type of enforcement could very well come to Major League Baseball soon. And in one case, it already has. On May 16th, while relief pitcher Giovanni Gallegos was warming up, his hat was confiscated and taken by MLB for having what looked like to be a foreign substance on it. His manager, Mike Schlitt, was ejected for arguing, basically saying, why enforce it against us if everybody is doing it? Umpire Joe West confiscated the hat before he threw a single pitch to avoid having to eject him. But this shows that some umpires are beginning to see foreign substances as a real issue, and instances like this are likely going to become more common, even without any direction from MLB, which also may be on its way. MLB has quietly confiscated baseballs from pitchers all year that definitely do have residue of the foreign substances they want to crack down on. According to Ken Rosenthal, in a start in April, multiple balls were taken from play in a game pitched by Trevor Bauer. These balls were apparently covered in visible markings and extremely sticky. They were taken after the markings were brought to the umpire's attention. Bauer was basically caught red-handed, and this report is framed in a way that makes it seem like Bauer was singled out. But this is probably not the case. Bauer called Ken Rosenthal a gossip blogger just trying to get a clickbait headline, because according to him, he was not targeted, and balls are being taken out from everyone just so MLB can do a study on the baseballs, and not to investigate and punish players for using a foreign substance. MLB has not publicly said what they plan to do with these baseballs, but Bauer makes a very good point. If MLB wanted to punish him for using this, he would know about it. The league wants foreign substances to stop. They also want to avoid getting into another massive cheating scandal, and if you want to avoid a scandal, punishing Trevor Bauer, who is not afraid to speak his mind for doing something that other pitchers are also doing is the last thing you'd want to do. Trevor Bauer seems to be safe for now, but within the next year or two, this may not be the case. MLB is collecting baseballs, monitoring dugouts, enforcing minor leaguers, and analyzing data for a reason. They want this to stop. In the next year, MLB will probably have umpires enforce this more, release more memos to teams warning them to stop, and confiscate even more game-used baseballs. If pitchers still use these substances even after this happens, MLB has built up a massive amount of evidence against them. So although pitchers are probably safe for now, if they continue to use these foreign substances at the rate they are, even after policing gets more harsh, suspensions and fines will be coming, and some of the league's best pitchers will probably be punished.